Pro Group Management. Workers Comp that works for you. This is 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review Journal. Good morning, everyone. I'm Renee Summerauer. We start off with your top stories brought to you by Nevada Hands Silver Sky Assisted Living Community. Learn more at nevadahand.org. New body cam footage in from Henderson Police. We're learning more about what led up to the Christmas Day shooting of an armed burglary suspect. Review Journal's Jen Ah brings us the video of the officer involved shooting. Warning, this video may be hard to watch for some. Got two running. Get over here now! Let me see your hands! When called to a Henderson neighborhood Christmas morning, police say two people suspected of breaking into vehicles took off running. 20-year-old Ozzy Seaman and a minor. Police say the body cam shows Seaman grabbing a gun and turning when the officer opens fire, shooting Seaman. You got shots fired, one down. Don't, don't reach for that gun! The suspect falls onto the sidewalk. One still running, one still running. Don't move! Don't move! Officer Jordan Ehar calls for backup. Let me get a couple officers to me. I got him shot in the leg and the arm. Police say they recovered this gun at the scene, and Seaman faces the following charges. The 15-year-old was also detained by another officer. A man claimed his AR-15 accidentally fired and killed his girlfriend during an argument in their downtown apartment Tuesday. At around 5.40 p.m., police responded to the 1000 block of South 3rd Street and found 22-year-old Ashley Benitez with a gunshot wound to the neck. She died at the scene. 23-year-old Jesus Navarrete say he and Benitez grabbed the rifle and that he ejected the drum magazine but forgot there was a round in the chamber. He remains in custody without bail and is due in court Tuesday. And the Clark County School District said it saw improved graduation rates district-wide during the last school year, but some students of color continue to fall short of the district's target goals. In a presentation on graduation rates at its board meeting, the district reported increased graduation rates with the exception of black, Native American, and mixed-race students. The district said it will continue to provide interventions for students and more tools to monitor student progress. The lights on the Welcome to Las Vegas sign turned red, green, yellow, and black for Black History Month. Clark County Commissioner William McCurdy led community members in a brief ceremony at the sign and recognized Urban League Young Professionals, the African Diaspora of Las Vegas, and more organizations. Because to be clear, black history is American history. We honor our ancestors, those who have came before us, who have blazed the trail, and who have made sure that we have all that we have today, not only to occupy for this moment, but to build upon for the lives of future generations. The event is one of many being held in Clark County. To see a list of events, please visit the link on your screen. In your business news, sponsored by Bank of Nevada, Bank on Accountability, United Rentals Construction Equipment Firm laid off 119 people in Las Vegas last month following its $2 billion purchase of Ahorn Rentals. The Nevada Department of Employment, Training and Rehabilitation disclosed the job cuts on its website as part of a spreadsheet of notices issued under the Worker Adjustment and Retraining Notification Act. This labor law helps ensure advance notice of mass layoffs, but the spreadsheet did not provide any reasons for the employer's actions. The Review Journal requested a copy of United Rentals layoff notice, but DETR indicated via email that the department doesn't send those out. Efforts to speak with United Rentals were unsuccessful. And a lucky local hit a seven-card straight flush, securing a multi-property progress jackpot of $135,000. This happened while playing Pai Gao Poker last Saturday at Boulder Station. A spokesman said the Pai Gao Progressive at Station's Casinos was reset to $93,000. Now for your weather report brought to you by Star Nursery, your garden's partner for every blooming thing. Happy Friday, everyone. Mostly cloudy skies with highs ranging in the low 60s. Calm winds at 10 miles per hour coming from the northeast. Tonight, mostly cloudy skies with lows in the upper 30s, low 40s. For your weekend, daytime highs will stay on the warmer side, ranging in the low to mid 60s. Calm winds throughout, partly cloudy skies with evening lows in the low 40s will continue this trend to start your work week.
Vegas Nation, brought to you by Station Casinos, STN Sports. Download the mobile app today. Quarterback Derek Carr stepped foot back into Raiders headquarters for the first time since being benched and won the precision passing event for the AFC after he spoke with reporters about what he hopes to find next in his career. I don't think that that hurt from not being around them will ever go away. Um, because I love them, um, but the excitement of what's next, I think, is something that is kind of more where I'm at now. You know, I, I don't think, I'm not sitting there dwelling on it anymore. In your health news, sponsored by Boulder City Hospital, we're here for you when you need us. In recognition of National Children's Dental Health Month, Rhesus Dental and Braces Office in the Las Vegas area will offer free exams and x-rays. Plus, every child that signs up for braces will get a free retainer. The services will be provided to children under the age of 18 throughout the month of February. Um, we're also partnering with local schools and different organizations to educate children and kind of help them have the tools that they need to make sure they're taking care of their teeth as well as you know, giving out free toothbrushes and toothpaste. And Local dental providers offering the services at the Rhesus office in Las Vegas, including Civic Center and Boulder Crossings. Here's the latest in sports. The East-West Shrine Bowl took place at Allegiant Stadium and the final score was 12-3 for the West. Las Vegas' Dorian Thompson Robinson, a former Bishop Gorman product who played his college career with UCLA, went 7-17 for 95 yards. But it was the field goal kicker who won it for the West, having kicked four field goals, two for 51 yards and two for 35. Another Las Vegas product out of Desert Pines High School, Jordan Howden, had one tackle in the game. Sports betting brought to you by Las Vegas Paiute Tribal Smoke and Cigar Shop. The NHL All-Star Game takes place Saturday, and the Central Division is a minus 115 favorite at Circa Sports over the Pacific Division, which features Golden Knights Chandler Stevenson, Logan Thompson, and coach Bruce Cassidy. The total is 13. Also, the Atlantic Division is a minus 125 favorite over the Metropolitan Division, and the total is 11. And your entertainment news, sponsored by Arizona Charlie's, has live entertainment every weekend at both locations. Go to ArizonaCharlie's.com to see who's playing. Acclaimed chef Julian Serrano has refreshed the menu at his Italian restaurant, Lago. The menu change is the first to occur since six months after the restaurant opened in 2015 and includes a thin crusted passetto with truffled cheese, a build your own lasagna, and mozzarella and olives stuffed inside a round sesame loaf. Visit LVRJ.com to learn more. Thank you for watching 7 at 7 a.m. I'm Renee Summerauer. If you have a Roku device, search Review Journal to download our channel. Watch Las Vegas breaking news streaming live on your OTT device. We'll see you back here later today for 7 at 7 p.m. From the Las Vegas Review Journal, happy Friday. Review Journal Studio, sponsored by Adam Kuttner. Get the maximum settlement as quickly as possible. This 7 at 7 update, sponsored by Pro Group Management. You're watching 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review Journal.